Hi everyone, welcome back to Java Techie. Today we will dive into an exciting topic that is new JDBC client feature in Spring Boot 3.2. Now you might be wondering why this new JDBC client where Spring already provides JDBC template, right? So in simple word, the JDBC client improves on the JDBC template by giving us a fluent API that improves readability and simplicity of your code. So in this tutorial, we will explore what's new, how it can benefit your application and we will even walk through a practical example using this new JDBC client. So without any further delay, let's get started. So let's go to the IntelliJ idea and we'll create a new project from scratch. Now here just define all the required field. Now here you need to choose 3.2.0 M2. So M2 is not listed here so we can choose M3. Now we just need to add the required dependency so I'll add the Lombok. Since I want to perform the DV operation so I just need to add JDVC starter dependency. Then I also need web dependency to just expose couple of rest endpoint. Then we need any database driver. Okay, so I am using MySQL since it is already installed with me. Now click on next, finish. So we are getting the error that the artifact pom 3.2.0.m3 is not available. So what you can do? just change it to the hyphen and just update your project so you can see here there is no error build is completed and it almost took two minutes for me to download all the latest dependency so what i want to do i want to change it to the m2 okay since we already know that this 3.2.0.m2 having provided these two feature jdbc client and rest client so already REST client we demonstrated in our previous video. Now it's time to demonstrate the JDBC client. So let me update the project. Next, let's create couple of package. So I'll just define the package something like. Okay, so basically we are going to perform the CRUD operation using JDBC client. So I am not going to write the service and repository because I just want to play with the controller directly. Okay, but it's a good practice to keep service and repository method as well. Fine. Now let me create the entity class. Let's say we are taking the example of book. So I'll just define few field. So these are my field ID name and title. So we have the entity called book. So this particular book table I want to create using JDBC client and I want to persist this value to this particular table. Okay. So since I have added the Lombo, I can annotate at the right data, all argument constructor, no argument constructor. Okay. So now this is my entity class and I want to create this book table with these are the column. But here we are not using any Spring Data JPA or Hibernate API. So it won't create the table manually for us. We need to create it manually. So I just want to create this particular table just by defining these three column. So for that what you can do, you can create a file inside the resource called schema.sql and then you can define the command to create the table. So I want to create this particular book table, id, name, title should be the column and id is the primary key. Now you need to tell to the Spring Boot, hey Spring Boot, can you please execute this schema.sql command on application startup? So to tell that you can go to the application property and you can define spring dot sql dot init dot mode equal to always. So you need to define this particular key so that spring boot will scan this particular schema dot sql file on application startup and it will create the table for you. Now you have the table with you. Now we just need to play with the JDBC client. So using this JDBC client, we can communicate to this particular table. Okay. This is the simple way to play with the database operation. So what I'll do, I'll just define the controller class. 
now just annotate here at the red rest controller and i just want to define the request mapping fine now here i just want to play with the jdbc client right i want to perform the book related crowd operation using jdbc client i want to save the book delete the book update the book and retrieve the book so that i want to play using the jdbc client so for that i just need to inject jdbc client can you see here jdbc client came from org.springframework.jdbc.code.simple just use this and simply i can auto add it next we can start writing our endpoint so let's say the first example or the first method i want to do to save the new book okay so i'll just return some string message save or add new book i just need to pass the book object and i just need to annotate here at the right request body because this is what the request body i will get from the postman and this should be my post mapping fine now i have the jdbc client so what i can do jdbc client dot sql now you need to pass the sql statement here now you just need to define this particular insert statement insert into the table table is something the entity you have defined that is book and id name title is the field and these are the value i want to pass dynamically okay now how can i pass this dynamic value simply you can just use the method called param and here you can find the overloaded method i just want to define multiple value okay so what i can do i'll just use this then i'll just tell that okay i just want to pass the list of element which is nothing the id name and title so i'll just tell that get the id from book get the name then get the title so i am just telling him the statement what need to do and then this dynamic value i am giving as part of the param so once i have given this then i will simply tell him okay just do the update now it will return you the int so if the update is successfully it will return you the one if you want you can capture that and simply i'll just return here some string value isn't it the simple i mean it's better readable at this moment fine now what i'll do i'll write another method to get all the book from the db so i'll just write a method public who will return me the list of book get all the book just annotated here at the red get mapping now i'll simply do here return jdbc client dot sql you just need to give the select statement just pass the statement here select id name title from book so it's always good practice to define the column instead of defining the star okay so star will always reduce the performance so to fine tune your qu uh, query you can define what all columns you want to read as part of the select statement fine so in our case select id name title from book these are the three variable or column we have and i want to fetch all now once you do that simply you can tell to this jdbc client which type of object it will return so this query will return me see here if you remember jdbc template we usually use this particular row mapper right so this is what something internally use the row mapper which is there in the jdbc template so here you just need to define which type of class this query will return which is book dot class then once you get that tell that okay i want in a list now let's write a method to get a book by condition by id okay so i'll just write public now i'll just need to pass the id so this need to be passed as part of the request url so i'll define path variable and this is my get mapping and i need to define this url because this id i want to pass now here what i need to do i'll just use return jdbc client dot sql and you need to just define let me copy this select id name title from book where id equal to id and this is what i want to pass dynamic so how can i pass dynamic we understand there is a method called param now here you just need to define the key what is the key id and what is the value id now once this query will execute what it will return it will return as the 
book class okay single object so why it's crying okay this will return the optional either you can return the method return type as your optional or you can simply get the object which is not recommended okay so it's good practice to always keep it optional so that it will help you to avoid the null exception okay null null pointer exception now what what all we have written we have did the insert statement we have done the select statement and select statement with condition now let me write the method to update a book and then we'll write a method for delete a book so public now to update a book i just need to pass the book id i mean i just need to face the old book and then i need to update the value right then i just need to pass the new object which i want to update so I, this need to be at the rate put mapping and i just need to define the path what i want to give okay this id i want to pass as part of the request url so i just need to define this also annotated here at the rate request body because this is what i am going to pass the value from the postman now simply just use return jdbc client dot sql give the update statement query update the table set the title value if you are getting new name value if you are getting new based on this condition okay now how i can pass the value again this is the list of object i mean list of value i want to pass so i'll simply use list of element now you need to give the element in a order i want to first pass the title then name so what i will do i will just define book dot get title book dot get name and then dynamic field is nothing my id fine i just want to update it that's it okay so this need to be id here i just added outside fine so we are just returning the string but it will return the int i'll just add some return statement here so this is what the update statement we have done using the jdbc client see if you look into the entire code the way we are communicating to the dv is really efficient way and it's easily readable okay and no doubt on it since we are using the jdbc the performance will get better now the last method i want to define to delete a book public so to delete a book i just need to pass a single field that is id is fine then this should be delete mapping and this need to be passed as part of the request url so i'll just define path variable also i just need to define the path here now simply i just need to use jdbc client dot sql statement which is nothing the delete statement so you can simply write delete from table where id equal to dynamic value and you know how to pass the dynamic value that is param just give the key as a id and value as a dynamic value then just tell him okay just update it so you can return some string message that's it we have done all the crowd operation related method and we have also execute all the sql statement which is nothing native sql right now everything we have done we have created the model we have created the dv operation to connect to the model but we we didn't provide the database driver details in our application right so go to the application.properties file then you just need to define all the spring data source properties so simply just define the driver class name url username and password these are the data source properties we are giving to create the data source object then this jdbc client can happily connect to your data source and perform all the db related operation based on your query okay we are good now now let me start my application to validate all the endpoint using this jdbc client let's start the app so application started on port 8080 there is no error all good let me clear this now just go to the postman and first we'll try to add a book 
so this is what the object i need to pass from the postman and then we'll verify in our dv whether the record is getting inserted or not okay so go to the postman then simply create a new endpoint just define type post http localhost 8080 books then body and you need to pass the request body in the form of json okay so let me add this let's say id is 123 name hibernate complete guide new edition some some random value okay now let me send the request book added to the system let me add another object let's say 143 now send the request these two book is added now let's verify in the dv can you see here all the two record i mean whatever the two record we have just saved we can able to see in the dv now if you want to validate the gate api simply i can try it from the browser for better visibility go to the browser then just paste the url can you see here both the two object we can fetch so internally behind the scene this jdbc client is triggering the query to the dv to get this result and now if i want to filter a book by id that is another gate endpoint we have defined i can do that can you see here now we tried with the save and get api i mean insert and select statement now let's validate the update endpoint or just update the record in the dv then go to the postman and simply i'll change the method type to put and i want to update the book by id so that is how we have defined our endpoint right so if you observe here in the controller class to update we have defined this id as a path variable so this id i need to pass as part of the request url then the object what i want to modify that is what i am just giving here so i can remove the id here because that is not something modifiable now next you can update any value okay let's say i just want to complete guide new edition something like version or something like that okay some random string i am updating just send the request book modified in the system let's go to the dv can you see here the record got modified now let's say i just want to change something version 2 send the request book modified in the system verify in the dv we can able to see the result now let's say the last one i just want to delete the record so we are just deleting the record by id so i'll i'll just give this 1 2 3 id to delete a record so i'll just change it to the delete and remove the request body send the request book record removed now we'll verify in the db we have only one record 1 2 3 id we just deleted right so this is how you can perform the database operation using jdbc client since this is the demo i have just provided with the crowd related example but you can give a try with the multiple join and you can also give a try with the complex query okay that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept